Does anyone like PowerPoint presentations? Great. So all this is not going to be on PowerPoint. So this is all uh, going to be my drawing. So and I'm not an artist, but hopefully I'll get the point across. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about with carpal tunnel syndrome is what is the wrist and hand anatomy look like? Now, again, um, I'm going to be kind of basic, um, but I don't mean to insult anyone, but I'm going to break it down kind of like I do for patients. So if we cut off your wrist and took a look through there, what we have is carpal bones on the bottom, okay? The flexor retinaculum that's right there on the top, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That. So, what these little circles are, are your flexor tendons. Okay, flexor pulse, as long as it's that one laying out there. Then all the other flexor tendons for your other remaining four fingers are here. And that oval shaped thing, that's the nerve. So, what does the nerve look like? If we cross section the nerve, there's two elements that we look at, okay? In the middle, obviously we got the axon, and on the outside we have myelin. Now, I'm going to explain how carpal tunnel syndrome occurs, both in the typical carp carpal tunnel syndrome as well as why pregnant patients get it more. So, that's if we took the nerve in the cross-section. Again, the, the key thing that we're looking at here is the myelin. 